and welcome to the Learning Lab. Today I want to do a flip through of Seasons Afield. This is the natural science program from Beautiful Peak Books. It's their newest one um, that they've come out with. This is the teacher guide. It says for primary grades. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. Um, I would show you the printed copy, but I've run out of ink. <laughs> so I need to um, get some more ink. But that shows you how much printing I've done. I got that new Epson printer not that long ago and I've already run out of coloured ink. So there you go. I've done so much printing over the summer. Anyway, let's just get started. So as it said, it's a literature approach to natural science for primary grades. So beautiful as well. I love the little butterfly. Um, so we are going to look at the table of contents first. So they've split it up into autumn story, the high hills, the secret staircase, winter story, spring story and poppy's babies. Um, so I split it up into several sections. So we have Autumn Story, where we've got Forage, Preserve, Decompose, and some special lessons. The High Hills, um, as you can see, I don't want to repeat everything, but Pigment, uh, The Secret Staircase, Evergreen, Winter Story, Spring Story, and Poppy's Babies. So it gives you an introduction through it. Um, so there's, they seem to uh, consider notebooking uh, with watercolour and things like that really important as part of it which I really like. Um, this is to go along with our nature study in case you're wondering. <laughs> Gives you their methodology uh, and then we get to the books. So these are the ones that are the main books but then as with beautiful book books they always uh, recommend additional ones. So we've got the Creek Complete Brambley Hedge um, book. We have The Watercolour With Me and those two books are the reasons why I got this to go along with our nature study um, because we own both of them and I thought they would be it would be a fantastic way to utilise them to their full potential. Um, this is another reason why I got it because I really like this book and I have purchased it. It's the Slow Down 50 Mindful Moments in Nature although it does have a different title here. So the UK version is Slow Down Bring Calm to a Busy World with 50 Nature Stories but it's exactly the same and it's an absolutely stunning book. So I'm super, super excited um, to utilise these two books, but also the rest of the ones they've recommended as well. Okay, then read last for different sections of, of the course. We've got Home in the Woods. Uh, we have got Tales of the Mushroom Folk. Uh, we have got Full Walk, The Golden Glow, Snowflake Bentley, Winter Sleep, The Year of the Perfect Christmas Tree, an Appalachian story, that sounds really good. I'm looking forward to doing that one at Christmas time. Uh, Owl Moon, we already have that one, which is again, is another reason I love it when we already have the box. <laughs> Miss Maple Seeds, Alice Waters, Cooks Up a Food Revolution, Albert and Pond. So I found Read Lads online for all of them, except, oh, I didn't look for those two because I already had those and I didn't look for that because obviously that's a watercolor book, but I found Read Lads online for all of them, except, um, this one, Alice Waters Cooks Up a Food Revolution. It is a new book. It came out, I think, February 2022, so that may be why. But I did ask my library if they would purchase it. I've never done that before. <laughs> it felt really strange, but they'll probably say no. Um, but I'll just have to buy it when it comes to that, to, to that unit, if they won't buy it. But I didn't want to spend too much money on um, picture books. Obviously, she's getting older now, but she still really loves them. Um, so, you know, I might invest in a few good ones if I can find them reasonably priced used. The problem is these books are really popular still. So used is pretty much the same price, if not more than purchasing them new. So I'm on the lookout for good deals for them. So those are the books, the essential ones um, that you need for the course. Then we go straight into our first unit, which is Autumn Story. So there's some information here. Um, it's written to you, the mum, which I really like, or the educator. So it says, grab a magnificent... Uh, back and back. What am I talking about? Grab a magnifying glass, become a nature detective, categorising trees and collecting leaves. Your walks will lead you through the ageing season and the secrets of the beautiful colours that befall us. You will learn a bit more about senescence, chromatography and make your own jam. So that sounds really good. And then there's a little quote from Brambley Hedge. So ease your whiskers, rest your paws. Pies and puddings fill the stores. Sweetly dream the night away till sunshine breaks another day. I love Autumn Story. It's a great book. Well, all of the Brownlee Hedge uh, chapters are really good. So they've got some uh, forage, obviously, is the topic. for They've got some, uh, some additional books that you could uh, get. Um, so we've got Berries, Nuts and Seeds. I did actually purchase that one because we want to do foraging. We have a forest nearby. Um, well, not exactly nearby, but not too, too far away. Um, that we'd love to find some more things in, in nature. 
and that's a really good book because it tells you different things to that you can look for while you're out I also got this one or a similar one from my library I don't think it's exactly the same one um, but a foraging book as well so that is going to be really fun for when we go to the forest next time and then materials so as, as it'll say you need your autumn story from Bromley Hedge watercolour with me in the forest the slow down book and then something to carry your art supplies in and then there's some optional stuff here and I did download the Seek app I haven't used it yet but it is free um, and I'm excited to use that it's not but it's not from Beautiful Feet Books it's just an app that you can find on the App Store so for lesson one it's telling you to read Autumn Story and then as you read take note of the following so talking about foraging and weather so you can ask some questions obviously um, uh, autumn flora and fauna then they have what's called wonder words which is things that they either notice themselves while they're reading or that you can mention the three or four that they've picked so in this case they've said to you to make a note in your journal of hedgerow brambles and briars and thistledown so with the younger ones that you know you could just do that and then the older ones could obviously use it as vocabulary and write the meaning or definition down and then fieldwork lesson two is to set up your office outdoor office so getting all your materials ready for when you want to do your projects and things so it gives you some instructions then we go on to keeping a log book so things that they could put in so location date of time note on weather first things that they saw common or scientific names notes on sketches and measurements so that's sort of our uh, what we, the things we'll be doing but then um, and then obviously what dr drawings and watercolor pictures you can put in specimens too you can note the weather um, which I think is going to be really fun and then in this one we have start with our watercolor with me in the forest book and we are doing uh, the relevant pages as requested and then you stick into your journal your wonder words a note or picture to describe the weather the date and then your watercolor samples that you're practicing so that's lesson one, two, and three. Lesson four um, is asking us to get these supplies ready, what we're going to read, talking about squirrels, uh, our explore section. So when we're out and about, see if we can find any of those things. Rose hips for full of vitamin C, let's look for those. We're going to the forest um, soon anyway for our Halloween family fun event that they're having. So we can have some a look out for some wild garlic and things as well which will be really fun um tells you what what is a brambly berry it's a little game here it's fun then we're on to the next chapter which is preserve again we've got our books here some ingredients that you need for your jam that you're going to make again more library books there's a quote here from home in the woods so it wants you to read Home in the Woods. We've got some information about preserving. We're talking about root cellars, making jams and pickles. We're talking about berry picking. Um, so we have our jam recipe here. And then the science behind what they just did. Osmosis and everything else. Uh, some uh, field notes that they can do. A little historical note for fruit preserving which looks really interesting there's a page for watercolor with me in the forest then they've got their journal section so i'm really excited about it so here's the decompose section you've got all your uh, books rec recommended and essential so we're reading tales of the mushroom folk we've got our wonder words here some information well an experiment on chopping up a mushroom things that stick into our journal some information here about exploring for mushrooms talks about obviously being cautious with mushrooms uh, the poem and then a handicraft, so you're making a felted wool acorn. That'd be so fun. <laughs> and then there is a recipe for crispy homemade pickles. There's a picture study. Then 
onto pigment. I'm really, really excited about this. It looks so good. I'm, I'm really happy about adding this to our nature study. Um, I've just been doing my own thing for nature study. Well, that's what I've been planning to do. Um, and I still will do that too, but I wanted to add something to it. So I was, we've done a couple of the units from Exploring Nature with Children, which I do really like. But when I saw this and saw all the great literature um, that we already had that went along with it and how easy it was to find the additional books, um, I just wanted to add this because I just, I don't know, it just, we had the Watercolour With Me book, which I already had. It just seemed it was meant to be. <laughs> Um, so yes, I'm really excited about doing this and I'll definitely let you know what we thought of it at the end of the year. Uh, tree ID field notes. So that's what it looks like inside. I want to explore now. So the map, doing some map work there. Bilberry soup recipe. Another handicraft, this time chalk pastel art. And then we go on to the winter stuff. You've got your um, like required resources over here. Uh, thermometer information. How the thermometer works. It's funny because we're just learning about that in our other science book. <laughs> um, cloud stuff. Oh, the year of the perfect Christmas tree. A little Christmas tree poem. Painting a pine cone. Making a bird feeder. That'd be fun. She'd love to do that. Talking about hibernation. Another picture study lesson. So yes, uh, there's a recipe for spiced almonds. Oh, that looks really cool. That looks really cool too, for the birds. So that's a quick look inside. I'm um, really excited I said to use it. I'll let you know how we like it at the end of the year. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Take care. Bye for now.